that student experience in Minnesota for me was really nice. And one of the biggest advantage or advice I got when I joined the department was that ask questions. And I realized during my PhD that most of my problem, almost 80% of the problems are fixed just by asking questions to my advisor or my fellow grad students or seniors or anyone in the department, basically. The advice I would give for people that are thinking about graduate school, especially here in the chemistry department, would be that one, talk to the students because you always want to figure out what type of environment you want to work with. And two, figure out what kind of people you want to see in the next five to 10 years. Are these people that are going to support you and your goals? Are these people that are going to be looking out for you even when you don't ask them to because they really care about your success? The last part I would also say for the advice that I would give somebody is that they need to find people within their lives that can also help with their personal life. So things outside of your work, giving you hobbies, supporting your family, because it's very important to have a good work-life balance. If I had any advice for first-generation um, college students like me, it would be to really find um, people who will advocate for you. Um, it can be a little lonely sometimes being able to, um, or not being able to uh, necessarily feel like you're a part of um, the rest of your class um, because of how drastically different your background can be, um, which is why I think it's so important to find um, an advisor that works really well with you um, friends that um, understand your struggles and finding um, organizations that um, sort of deal, have dealt with the same kinds of things that you have, um, I think that really help push your career forward and make you feel more comfortable um, where you are. I think other words advice that I have for other graduate students is really make grad school the best experience that you can. Um, it's a really hard five-ish years of your life. Um, it's very trying. Um, there are still moments that I think to myself that why am I doing this? I can't do this. But I think that really having people in your life that push you to do um, what you may not know that you're capable of doing and, and fulfilling your potential is really important. I'm really grateful for my advisor who um, has really done her best to make me feel like I deserve to be here. Um, and so I, I would say definitely find people, um, and the department is a great place for that. Um, I feel like the, all the, my advisor, as well as all the people who potentially could have been my advisors, um, really have shown me that they also believe that I, I deserve to be here. So that's been really helpful. incoming graduate students or people considering graduate school is kind of twofold. Uh, one is knowing yourself, knowing uh, what you need to be successful in a new place. So whether that's knowing the way you like to learn um, and what you would need from your advisor or from other graduate students in the lab, but also knowing how to check in with yourself and making sure that you are healthy and well um, and knowing the steps to take that will keep you healthy and well. Come join us because it's an awesome place to be here, but come with an open mind to embrace the environment of diverse research, perceptive perspectives, and culture. Incoming grad students, all I can say is just enjoy it. It's scary because we know we're, what we're signing up to. It's not going to be easy. But if you find time to enjoy the things that you really love to do, especially in winter, it's going to be brutal here. But you can do snowboarding, skiing, ice fishing, all those different things that you can do in winter would be fun. Also, I'm not from here, but I enjoy my time here, so you should be too.